You learned on Saturday and Sunday how to take care of yourself. How did you get so far away from that? The panic is setting in. Okay, and I get it. I totally get it. Putting way too much pressure on yourself. First name's Miko. Um, I'm a chiropractor assistant. I also have a second job too. Yeah, what um, do you do with that? Um, I work at a front desk at a resort. Gotcha. Um, but what, where I'm from, California. Um, can't say where, but exactly. About and she's trying to respect her doc, but we want to show you the difference between the Thera method and upper cervical. Um, well, I'm here because what's the number one symptom? I, this is the interesting one for them. The visual vertigo. I mean, the ringing in the ears, you know, is a hella annoying, and so is um, the dizziness and unbalance us a little bit. The visual vertigo, it looks like things are kind of like moving a little bit still. She got a second job at this resort for why? Uh, so that I can pay for treatment. <laughs> and she gets free treatment from her doctor. Yeah, that that's how serious it is. I was laying in bed, um, I was having a tantrum, I was having a bad day, and my dumbass decided to hit my head against the wall. And then literally 10 seconds later, I got tinnitus. And then I just started noticing after a month, I'm starting to feel like I'm on a, like a boat. Um, and then I start getting visual vertigo, and it's all because of that instance. So I, it's crazy, honestly. I had no idea that that could happen. She's had ear infections when she was a baby. She had, she was a colicky baby, and so uh, we. I told her I think this goes way back. So uh, nausea all the time. Uh, yeah. Drunk person gait. I love that. What is that? Dr you walk like you're drunk. I feel drunk. I, I try not to walk like I'm drunk, but I feel exactly. drunk. <laughs> now, she spent a lot of money on medical quacks. You know, you guys are out there. I went to a neurotologist. She happens to be like the top neurotologist in Newport. I paid $2,000 for that. No, $2,100. You have endolymphatic high drops. I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, it just means you're unbalanced. And I'm like, okay, but <laughs> what's the cause of it? All of a sudden, want to give me anxiety, depression pills and diuretics, I'm like, no, this is not the answer. There's no way. So I was like, deuces. Um, you know what? I went on Facebook groups and I talked to like probably 40, 50 people that had similar symptoms to me. So that went from like Lyme disease groups to vestibular migraines to vestibular neuritis groups. And there was just a, a few people that mentioned upper cervical. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> at this point, I'm like at my wit's end. Like I might as well try it because I, I can't deal with this anymore. So the chart looks like it's like moving. It's like like a, almost like a dreamlike wave. It's doing this. Okay. It's very subtle. Okay, we can see our right occipital tilt here. The head's tilt to the right and 15 degree scoliosis. Here we have seven degree lumbar curve and constipation. Here is a pretty significant neck reversal at C3, really easy to see. And last one, sway back and constipation. So, uh, Miko, it's the weekend, it's been uh, passed by, you've gone home for the weekend. We had a bunch of issues on Friday because she went home on Thursday and came back Friday and had a bunch of issues from home. We changed the way she sits at her computer, we changed the way she talks to her mom, we changed her eye rolls. No, we didn't change the <laughs> eye rolls, but we did change. <laughs> we did change uh, how she drives in the car. And so tell us what the conclusion of the weekend has been for you. Um, I think just when I'm feeling tension, I've just, as he told me, make sure you just correct that with eight pans. And I felt some relief in between that. Um, so I think it's just getting in the habit of doing that more. Um, and not but, the, but the drive was bad when she went on Thursday and she said she had it again, came back in the car, but we were able to do exactly what she just said. Yeah. And she changed and it, the pain went down. The pain did go down. Um, so yeah, I just noticed, just at least for me, especially when I'm sitting in the car or bending over and going on the computer, that's when all the tension comes back. And then tell us about at work. You went to work and you said you had dizziness at work. What did you do there? Yeah, so um, I, when I worked at the front desk, um, I would bend over because the computers were so low, you have to like bend over for like hours at a time. So um, what I would do is I would start feeling like a little bit off balance and dizzy. Um, so then I would be like, okay, well, just relax. Just give yourself a minute and I'll go into the eight pans position and I would feel a little bit better in between. So I, had, I did that throughout the day. Um, every like 20 minutes, I would start feeling, I'm like, okay, just give myself a minute. So very important thing here is not that we have eliminated all her issues yet. Right. We haven't, but we've given her now 
adjustments that take care of it. Her her symptoms this last week is way better than before, right. and now she's noticing when it turns on, turns off. So we're now we've realized that bending over is the problem. Yeah. Gotcha. So uh, we're gonna address her address that all this week. Today we're gonna do her atlas, which we've been waiting for the whole week. I'm so excited to do this because that's direct connect to her vertigo. I'm so, so nervous. So nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're gonna let her let you guys see her first reaction to that because that's the funnest part. I oh. love this stuff. I like this is the bonus. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On your back here. Okay. You don't want me to... What are you, think, what are you thinking? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is the person who's gone to, uh, works for an upper cervical doctor and had her atlas adjusted a bunch of times. Uh, but yeah, but it, it was very light. I this... understand, but you've had your atlas played with. And so I call it play because it's not really adjusting. Sorry, guys. And so um, she's gonna have her atlas adjusted. Again, she's had her atlas supposedly adjusted. I don't know. Supposedly. Oh my gosh. And I love you upper cervical guys. You just got to learn how to adjust better. better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's his opinion, guys. <laughs> well, she'll show you hers in a second. Uh, okay. You ready to go, Miko? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get right up on here. Here's your atlas right there. Get position. Going to bring your head towards the... Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, it's right at the atlas, like I just feel it, oh. Right? Yeah. And it's not some fake thing, it's not something I'm just saying I adjust atlas. She can feel it, it's way up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And was that similar to your upper cervical no. <laughs> doctor you work for? He really is trying, <laughs> oh god, no, it's not similar. It's not, but still. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Wait. Oh, wait, oh. It's like a burning sensation, right? Hold on. Oh. Yes. Oh, that went down like my butt. Like, oh my god. Well, what are you feeling? You're just confused right now. Confused, for sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. So she's gonna walk. Uh, what I see the difference is, I don't know if, because I didn't test her before we did the adjustment. But her posture, she gets into posture way better, way faster than she did before. Mm. And looks more relaxed. Tell me about what's going on. What happened? Yeah, um, it, it felt like, I haven't felt like before when I would turn to my side. And like the last, before the last adjustment yesterday, mm -hmm. um, when I turned to my side and sleep, I didn't feel dizzy at all. Like I didn't feel like I was being moved. But last night, like it felt like the beginning, like when it's all first started, like yeah. I felt like like I was opening my eyes and like things were like moving like really rapidly and I was like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. Um, this is a perfect example of why I don't do Atlas right away. Yeah. Remember I said Atlas, Atlas is either a great thing, it's the thing that we need to do, but it also can be a bad thing too early. And so um, you're just experiencing that, that direct connect to your issue. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, do I want it to be there? No. But is it good that it's changing? Yes, because it means I'm in the right area. Just right, matter. Does it? Absolutely, it does. So the worst thing you do in my office is not get any change. People come in and like, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. And then I'm like, Well, I don't know what to do. That's the worst. If I make something worse or better, extreme like this, that means I'm in the right area. It's just a matter of how to get the right adjustment, how to get the most work out of it. Okay. Remember, I just taught you your next progressions, and so that also is very difficult on you. And I said this last night, I go, this is gonna, you're just starting to do better over the weekend, and now it's going to be worse again, because why? Because you're struggling to do something different. And so the position I put you in is the right position, but it doesn't feel right at first. And we're gonna show you that in the um, next visit too. So then are you gonna do the Atlas adjustment again? Today? Absolutely. What if it gets worse? What if it does? I mean, again, we have to work through these issues. Yeah. If we're too scared to even try, we're never gonna get you better. Right. And so, and so, uh, again, it's a good thing. Okay. 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 This is so frustrating. What? What's frustrating about it? I mean, I've discussed all these rules with you and how to do things properly, and so I, okay. if we do it, if we do it the same way, it's pretty straightforward. When I was doing it your way without the towel, I did do that initially. And you got better. No. Yes, last night, you did. That's well, what you told me. 
That's Initially, what he told yes, me. Initially, yes, but last night it didn't feel better. Again, <laughs> you have to work through these issues. And by going backwards to do what you want to do, it's called muscle memory, remember? Yes. We've discussed all this. So I only have you for a couple more days. So for you to go off of what I've told you, I'm not going to help you. We have to learn through it. Do you follow me? I mean, I follow you. It just it didn't feel like I was getting better when I was doing exactly Because you were doing, doing it wrong. Because you were doing it wrong. And that's the whole purpose. If you start coddling yourself and going back to your old habits, all you're going to do is make it harder for me to change in the future. You needed to take that time, get up, and what did I tell How would I tell you to deal with it? And do what? Get out of bed and work it. Work the issue. You learned on Saturday and Sunday how to take care of yourself. How did you get so far away from that? The panic is setting in. Okay? And I get it. I totally get it. Putting way too much pressure on yourself. Okay? Just stick with the formula. Do the notes I tell you. When something happens, get out of bed and do the work. You just got to do the work. You just don't know how to do it yet. We had this problem last week. Remember on Friday when you came in? We had an issue also. You had trouble figuring out the A-pans. And then we worked it and you did great over the weekend. I mean, it is what it is. It takes time to learn this stuff. Yeah. Maybe you're just too fast for you. Maybe we need to start over again. That's always possible. Okay. Good. How'd that feel? Oh, it hurt. Okay, different than yesterday? Felt looser to me. A little actually Good. looser. I'm surprised actually. I can't tell, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm gonna work this ah. little area in here. And so this is still spasming. And it's because of her, because of the way she stands still. So we're gonna address that too. She can feel all this crap. Yep, yep, yep. This is where your imbalance comes from. Breathe in the nose, out your mouth. In the nose. Good, one more time. Good. That was a huge knot, guys. A huge knot up there. She can feel it. We're actually gonna work up here. This is really sensitive. I'm not gonna kill you, but I'm gonna actually adjust these things, see if I can relax your neck. Okay. Just relax as best you can here. It's not gonna be fun. Good. Is that fun? No. Because you are one tight chick. Man, you are really stuffed up, aren't you? Yeah. Are you always like this or just today? Always. Hmm, that could be a reason. That's a big problem right there. I didn't realize. I guess I didn't hear it the other day. Well, that hurts. And that yeah. kind of feels like that's where it's at. Because sinus breathing, guys, if she's, not, if she's having this kind of congestion, um, it's going to cause her to actually move her body differently which makes her sleep differently, it makes her carry her head differently, and that's why she won't lift her freaking head when I'm telling her to walk, because she's always trying to drain those sinuses. And so the sinus drainage is, is very important to get this on, on track so that we can get her head on the right pay, on the right level. So I'm gonna work on your sinuses right here. Breathe in your nose. Good, let it out. Now I'm gonna ask you to ice your sinuses tonight too. Yeah. Have you that? Have you ever done it before? No. Okay. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Breathe in again. And let it go. Good. This is where I say I like the mask. Ooh, look at that. Max Lowe's sinus is all fired up. Usually these don't hurt. Breathe out. One more. Oh. So tonight, when you ice your neck, you're gonna put ice right over your face like this, over these two spots, but I just cover the whole eyes. And you wanna try to get it so it 
it gets colder and colder and colder. The trick with icing your sinuses properly is after you're done or when you're in the middle of icing, you smell cold air like you're in the mountains. Where are we at with you? What's your frustration? Um, my equilibrium still feels off. Gotcha. Um, vision improves one day, gets worse the next. Gotcha. Um, I'm trying to, I think, just trusting the process fully. Good, good. Um, that's, that's good. Yeah, I, I feel like, because yesterday you told me that you wanted to do my Atlas the entire day, but we decided to just do half the day. Yep. I feel like I chickened out on that just because I was so afraid of what's going to happen. Of course. So I don't know if you still feel that I need the Atlas because my vision, like when I woke up this morning, I was fine. Um, it wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. Yep. Uh, I don't think you're ready for it anymore. I think we're going to back off. Okay. I think you did chicken out on it, but it's not a problem because... Uh, you know, we have to work and you think, uh, I have a mission here with my work. I am on a path to try to get you better. Yeah. But I also have to work with the individual. Yeah. And if you're not on board, yesterday you lost it. Yeah. I mean, you were not here with me. And so to have you back is more important psychologically than to have be pushing you too fast. Yeah. Okay. But doesn't mean I don't want to try things. Just means that I needed to experiment, see where we're at, test, yeah. and then now we now I sort of know where we can push you. How did your sinuses go last night too? Better. They were a little better? Yeah, I did put ice on it. What did they feel like with the ice? It felt like I was breathing in cold mountains. Did it feel good there, didn't it? Yeah. Did it make you go to sleep? Uh, I think, well, I did it earlier, so I don't know if it helped contribute to my sleep. When stomach. I do that and I have a problem, I fall asleep with the ice. I always have put a, a towel under my head because you'll f wake up with a pool of water all over you because that feels so good. Uh. So we're going way down in your neck today. You can feel how low I am with this sucker. Let me have this, let me have more. Uh, there oh. we go. God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what was the uh, grunt for? Because no, it felt I, so different I, or was really it painful felt, or just it scary? It felt different, where was that? That was C7, okay. almost T1. Okay. Yeah, wow. I haven't done that before. No? No. Interesting. Yeah, I was doing C6, C7 before. This is C7, T1 now. Yeah. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. I just want to get this out of the way so I can get down low on here. Okay, you're up. Okay. You okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Those are a lot. Those are good. Yeah. I think they're better than last week, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they went A-OK. -okay. Yeah. I broke down last night, and I, and I called one of my best friends about it. And you then, did? Yeah. Good. I felt like after talking with her, it just, just reeled me back in. Good. You needed a moment of clarity just to kind of go, you know, Dr. There's, he's on my side. We're doing this together. You know, it's not... You know, I don't know why I'm losing it, but I need you needed some friend. So I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I've noticed a decrease in my vision. Um, it's gotten a little bit better, um, but there's still a disequilibrium, you know, feeling of just feeling unbalanced still. Um, and I think it's just because, you know, my, my issues are long term, um, things that need more work. Um, but I will say, you know, my sleep has gotten a lot better. Um, and I've learned a lot in the last two weeks. What have you learned? I'm kind of curious. What have you learned? What, um, how, and what are you going to take away from this? That's what I'm kind of curious. You've learned a lot of stuff, but what are you going to take away? Um, you know, just being more aware about my habits. Um, I didn't realize how terrible my posture was. Um, I didn't realize, I, you know, the small little things I realized is I, I ignore pain. Um, and I've been doing that for a long time. Um, he's pointed out so many times to where it gets annoying. Um, but then I realized, I'm like, oh, but I'm doing it to myself by the end of the day. Um, so I took out of just being more kind to myself and realizing that I need to really just, when I feel pain, just acknowledge it and then change my habits. Um, I love it. You know, we talk all the time and uh, I get more out of her when she's talking on camera than we talk. I mean, you really, I get more of a sense of who she is. So I love this. I mean, there's more, there's, she's, it's seeped in a lot more than I even take credit for. And so I'm glad I'm, I can hear the words, I can hear the teachings coming out of her mouth. So that's good. That's being aware is one of the most important things that we teach here. Yeah, I mean, I basically like 
fought him all the last two weeks. And I think also for me, um, I, it's been just a really big emotional release. Um, it's really made me address um, a lot of hidden issues, psychological issues that I didn't realize I was ignoring as well. Um, we had a moment off camera and, um, you know, that really like almost like broke me. So, so there's a lot I have to work on. Um, and he's made me aware of that. So, you know, I think just, you know, interacting with him off camera, it's just been really frustrating for me. Um, so it's really hard when you're going through something really hard, it's hard to communicate that with someone who's trying to help you. Um, so I understand, I'm really grateful for the experience. I really am. I'm sorry, I, it didn't seem like I was. I just, you know, I'm trying to collect my own thoughts and I'm trying to understand what's going on with myself. So, you know, it's really clear that um, for me, I just haven't let go of a lot of things psychologically as well. So I think that's maybe affecting my healing process. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to, at least for this last day, I'm going to try to take in as much as I can and, you know, apply it to, you know, my everyday life. So, thank you. Yeah, wow. No, that's... And so I told her, we're on the verge of getting her better. She doesn't see it yet, but we're on the verge of it. Why? Because when you can release that emotional truth, the truth, for some reason, just releasing the truth and understanding where it's all coming from gets you better. She still has some things to work through. So um, can I help her with that? Yes. Can she help herself with that? Yes. Is there other things that can help? Yes. Meditation, all those kind of things. You know, maybe talking to somebody. But again, it's not just physical, guys. That's the most important thing. Okay. Ringing in the ears when we first came in. Mm -hmm. Any better at all? No, I, we talked about it a lot of times, but it never got better. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, the vertigo balance. You said 15% the first day, and I, has it never changed since then? We've gotten better or worse? Where are we at with that? I'd, I'd say it got a little bit better, maybe about 10, 15%. So we're at 30% then? Yes, yeah, so I would say that. About 30%, gotcha. Okay. Uh, daily nausea. No, that's actually gone. That's gone, good. Uh, right neck pain. Um, I haven't noticed anything really, unless I'm like sitting down. So how much better is the right neck pain? I I honestly can't. I just feel like it's the same, a little bit. Maybe 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 ten percent better. Okay. Uh, I I just want her truth. Whatever she says. Yeah. Um, uh, breathing. Um, I haven't noticed having breathing issues, so I think it's gotten better. Um, percentage wise, I I can't honestly say. Uh, okay. And the visual imbalance. That's the same thing as the one we're talking about. Um, or is that different than the one you were, you said you're 30% better? Is the visual yeah, so the, the visual, um, I, I say about, uh, that's gotten probably the most better. I'm about 20% better. The numbers don't all match and jive, but the most important thing is we're on the right path. For me, it's not where we should be because I expect everybody to be in here 50 to 60, 50 to 65% better after this. So I'm surprised that we're not better, but again, I think, like I said, and there's other issues. Uh, we also talked about our oxput. We showed you guys in the x-rays, oxput is way the hell off. But I am too nervous to adjust it in a short period of time. So I'm um, asking her to come back and get, send, spend some more time with me. It's about not just about spending money, guys. It's about giving me the time to work through issues with her. And so it's not a quick fix with her. And it's something that you guys should see and understand that it's not always easy, guys. Oh. I hurt a little more than this morning. Absolutely. Yeah. Reason is tension tight. This morning's adjustment went so good. Oh. Right. Oh. Cowabunga. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm happy that you're actually saying thank you. I thought it was going to be like, I was like, is she going to be mad at me on camera? So. No. 